It isn't real anymore. Hi. What you miss doesn't exist. It's the end of the world as we know it, and Jodie Comer is here to guide us through it, as she faces the nightmare scenario, surviving an environmental catastrophe with a newborn baby. In less doomsday circumstances, we met the star and the film's BAFTA-winning director, Mahalia Bello. Now, in your brilliant film, we are confronted with the end of the world. It's a very punchy start to January. Um, <laughs> I was just going to ask you, what drew you to the drama of the apocalypse? I think it's not. It's not the apocalypse. I feel like it's a disaster, mm. you know, or something that goes terribly wrong. And I think what is so be beautiful about this film is how this woman is faced with this adversity, you know, and like her internal world is so transformed by the birth of her son, while simultaneously the world seems unrecognisable due to the climate crisis. The end we start from an adaptation of the novel by Megan Hunter begins as Coma's character's waters break while mass floods hit the UK. Metaphors are happening all around us. How did you do that scene? Because oh, we heard you called in the midwives, is that right? How, do you, how does one called create a midwives. How does one create a scene <laughs> like that? Call them in! I love it. <laughs> call them in, mate. <laughs> can right, you get I'm me a midwife? I'm going to all of them away to come in. I just imagine you saying, just can you get me a midwife right now? Give me a midwife <laughs> now. <laughs> no, I think we, we did a bit in rehearsal, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, that was Sorry. a lot of the prep, to be honest. Like, yeah. we, we spoke with a lot of midwives. We got a lot of birth and videos. Yes. We wanted to really depict that in a truthful way so for me it was like not being a mother myself it was like really getting to the bottom of like how you hold your body when you have a baby where you feel the pain the stages of labor what the breath is like you know all those kinds of things to really make make that feel as real as yeah as possible i sort of wanted it to feel like it felt like when i was giving birth which was probably the most vulnerable I've ever felt in my life and the most powerful I've ever felt, ever. So I just wanted to kind of give, and the flood, and we use the flood as a means to kind of really help that experience along, um, to tell that experience, so the surges of it, and how wild it is, and how painful it is as well. I killed two people last night after I tried really hard not to. Okay, well that's not ideal. From playing a Russian assassin in Killing Eve to One Woman Plays, the star who didn't go to drama school last year won theatre's most prestigious prize, an Olivier. To any kids who haven't been to drama school, who can't afford to go to drama school, who've been rejected from drama school, don't let anybody tell you that it is impossible. It was more when I was going to theatre auditions, I was met with a lot of resistance for the fact that I hadn't been classically trained. And so I just felt like a moment to say, actually, you know, Ignore that, like not not take that word for for gospel and think, oh well, actually, there's no there's no point. I would love to see more funding go into the arts, especially when I think of you know like sort of Liverpool and the northwest and um, which are incredibly creative cities, and um, I would love to see to see more of that. While the film's director Mahalia Bello has been long listed for a BAFTA for this her feature film debut. There always historically has been a lot of chat around, you know, there not being enough female directors um, and it being harder for women. And I just wondered whether you think that's still the case. There are statistics and reports that are saying, yeah, it's still, it's still not good enough. But I'm really, I feel really excited because this year especially, mm. there are loads of peers who are coming through who are women or, you know, and, and who are making great movies. And I feel, I feel, you know, it's empowering and inspiring to see that. Um, but yeah, I think I think there's maybe more, still more change that needs to happen. I think more trust that needs to happen, if I'm honest. I've got a feeling that that would be helpful. Um, but yeah, it's a good time. And I think I f I'm hoping that it's a kind of a surge that can grow and won't recede. And never fear, even as the world is ending, there are moments of light relief as Jodie Comer's character sings an ironic song choice. There is a fantastic scene which kind of caught me so by surprise when you start singing I've had the time of my life. It's, it's basically <laughs> yeah, the world yeah, could yeah. potentially be ending. We had a long list of songs, didn't we, that we were like... Yeah, but we you, were you chose through. that one. Did I? It was yeah, it was you. Is it's that your a... karaoke song? Do you sing? Do it's you... actually not. Like, it should it's be. be. I think this. it should be. <laughs> I was like, all right, Jodie, let's go. <laughs> do um, you enjoy karaoke? Do you, do you each I love karaoke. Do you? Yeah, that came across. A catastrophe thriller with a floor filler. Now that's cinematic range.